Hello, welcome everyone to part two of Digger Dave's Dream Drift Car Build. Today, I think he's gonna rip off all the bumpers and sills and see how rusty it actually is. Ooh, it's probably rotten. Let's have a look. So then, me and my mate Brad gave the car a good jet wash yesterday. We've sorted all the wheels out. We made them nice and clean on the inside, you know what I mean? Clean the calipers. Clean the engine bay. I need to take this sill off here because I think there's going to be a lot of rust under here. It's bolted on funny. And I need to know why. I've got two hours of daylight. Let's see what we can get done. We need to take the bumper off anyway because it's basically shagged. So let's go. It's basically trapped. Don't know if you can see. It's basically pinned on that, so I need to just get the jack and free it up. So this thing is attached. She's rusty. <laughs> there we go, we got it. That's it. It's looking pretty good, boys. Oh my days. Yes. It's just this bit here. We can solve this. Come on, it looks a piece of piss there. Is that a big fat hole? Is that a big fat hole? Oh my gosh. We may have to do some welding, boys. So I'm hoping we should be able to just play with this, you know what I mean? I hope it's not transferred too far onto that side. We'll have to see. I don't know why we're all going to clean it up. But otherwise, it's not too bad. They probably won't replace them. They're replaceable. They look pretty haggard, don't they? They don't look too bad. I mean, it's just this side. Yeah, it's like it's been sat in a bush. And that bush is basically just cooked. It, you know what I mean? Or oh, it's crashed it. Because there is a bit of damage down this door. Who knows? You never know, you might tell me. Always have axle stands, boys. While I was away looking for tools, that jack basically gave way. And luckily, I had that jack there. I've just heard it go bang. You know what that means? <laughs> Use axle stands. This is going to be my plan of attack. I'm just going to wire wheel the crap out of it and paint bitumen on it. Got some gloves. It's 10 quid for that box. I figured I'd screw it and get some gloves. I think that were like 3 quid, like 2 quid. That like ten pounds. It was really good actually. And, uh, but I think we're gonna need to do welding anyway. So I'm glad about the bitumen. Nice before shot. It won't look like this in the end. <laughs> Pretty good actually. Can figure it out. I wanted to buy some of this like gel you put in it, it neutralizes the rust, but I wanted to get to work to now. I can probably order that tonight to get in these grooves here because I can't really get in there. Can I? Unless I just cut it out, which I probably could do. I'll carry on tackle this. So then to give you a visual, we're under the car here. And we've got this kidney bush so I can't get any further away. It looks pretty caned, but chassis 
I've just knocked all the surface rust off. It's all that, you know, like the undercoat, all that's fell off. So if we can get on top of this, I think we're all right. My only concern is like this bit here, but I've poked off all the major. It seems to be okay. So if we can just like get as much of that off with white wheel as we can, I just bladder the fuck out of it with bitumen. Because all this needs to be is a, a bash car, you know what I mean? It's never going to be a competition car. Because it's already <laughs> been battered. The more you look around it, like, you stove that bit in there. I don't know whether that's been stoved in there. I mean, it looks like it has, but that might be just how they are. It's, uh, <laughs> it's had a fun life, you know what I mean? But then we've got pieces like this. Which I believe is just like the bubble insulation cover. I'm concerned about this fuel tank though. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It does look like it comes down without having to drop the subframe, which is handy. I've just got to take the exhaust off, take the drive shaft off, and it'll drop down. Which is really awesome actually. But it looks like it's been slapped. You know what I mean? I think you can see it on that side. It's had a dim on this side. It looks like it's been pushed forward. Like there, can you see? Like it looks like it's gone forward a little bit, so... I don't know. I'll chuck 20 quid a fuel in it if it stays in it. You know what I mean? I'm happy. <laughs> chuck some bitumen on it and send it. So then, sacrificial army shovel. Will that do for a piece of metal? <laughs> used to have loads of scrap and then I gave it away. Really nice. I'm going to nip to the scrap yard and see if I can find it. Well, it looks like sacrificial shovel time. I tried. It's full of light weird aluminium junk metal. I need steel or uh, I need to go to a garage find some scrap or something but I imagine this will do. That was a lot of effort. So we should be able to you know, just form that around there. No. We need to chop out that bit really. No. Piece of metal. I put it there. Might overlap it, but don't think. Might have to go flush. I'm gonna weld that bottom in there. And I weld this flange here flush. You know what I mean? This one. And then I'm just gonna hammer it around and you know what I mean, because this edge is a bit of a nightmare there, so I'm just gonna weld the bottom in so it's nice and firm and then just twat it. Flash myself twice now. All I can see is a big dot in the center of my eyes. I've had archive before, it's not fun. Oh my god, it's gonna be miserable. So, bugger welds! <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh my days. It's on. It's on and it's not rusty. Once we bladder it in, I might put some like silicon over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But once we bladder it in, bitumen, no one cares. You know I mean? So, what the hell? Me little hundred quid. I don't even think I paid hundred quid. I've done some body work. Never done welding before. Not easy. Big, big respect to those that do it, but I figured let's name and shame myself. Oh yeah, look at the state of it. But structurally, it's sound. You know what I mean? I think I'm just going to grind it back, put some silicon over it, or whatever you call it, and then the sill goes over it anyway. You know what I mean? It's just to stop the rust, keep the moisture out, you know what I mean? I filmed this before my hands get fucking covered. Oh, gloves on. I gave it about two seconds of sanding, but I realised my welds are just too good to need sanding back, you know what I mean? Professional welders don't sand the welds, do they? So, sand it. So, what we need to do now is get your little brush on your bitumen. It's the thinnest bitumen I've ever seen. And then just slap it on. Yeah. That's in for it. Might put a bit too much on the brush. <laughs> well, just cake it on. No. Very usable bitumen, this is. It's uh, very runny. Almost too runny. Going back in everywhere. God. I was hoping it'd be thicker to fill in my welds, if I'm honest. 
I didn't bother with the old silicon, I couldn't be asked. It's nearly dark now, so I just want to go to see them, so I mean to that grind it again tomorrow. Oh, Lily's come for a cameo. You will stay away from this paint, you No. No, you don't want it. There we go. Bitumen fills most at all. Literally the runniest bitumen I've ever used in my life, to be honest. It's, uh, it's probably good for painting your fences, but working upside down, not so much. Could have done with chucking a bit of cornflour in it, you know what I mean? I think we're going to call it a night tonight. I wanted to like do all this, go all the way down the cell, but it's getting dark now, so I better pack it up. I've been making noise all night. Everybody we asked agreed. Yeah, you what? I agree, now. I agree. I agree. Brother, I agree with you. I agree. Well, your customs makes the sickest, trickiest boxes ever to grace Mother Earth. Store things like the squirrel you yearn to be. Whale jaw customs, baby. That you didn't know you needed. Whale jaw customs.